What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to the Hair Growth Pharmacy. In today's video, we will be discussing the hair follicles and how it relates to hair growth. Hair follicles are tiny organs found beneath the dermal layer of the skin and consist of 20 different types of cells which form and grow hair strands through the process of packing together cells in a regular cycle known as the hair growth cycle. The hair follicle regulates hair growth via a complex interaction between hormones, neuropeptides and immune cells also known as the white blood cells. The interaction between these three causes the hair follicle to produce different types of hair strands found on different parts of our bodies. However, the hair strands which we produce on our scalp are known as terminal hairs. There are three layers of the skin and they are the epidermis which is the outermost layer of the skin, the dermis also known as the dermal layer which is the inner layer of the skin and also the hypodermis which is made of fat and connective tissues. In the dermal layer of the skin, the hairs on our bodies grow from a life follicle which is rooted in the hypodermis. With that, as the epidermis or scalp is the first line of defense for our hair follicle, it is important that we take good care of our scalp and avoid causing any damage as this could negatively impact the hair follicle. The two most common causes of follicle damage are folliculitis and alopecia. Now, as we are aware, there are many different forms of alopecia, but the most common cause for follicle damage is traction alopecia. Folliculitis is the result of bacterial or fungal infection causing inflammation of the hair follicle. If left untreated, this could lead to the hair follicle permanently closing up. Traction alopecia is caused by the excessive pulling of the hair which eventually leads to hair loss. In the event that your hair follicle is damaged, it could be difficult to mend but it is not impossible. Damaged follicles can be repaired, but the longer you leave damaged follicles untreated, the chances of reviving them become more difficult. Therefore, treating any signs of hair loss in the early stages are best. However, in the event that your hair follicle is not damaged but has become dormant or inactive, this usually indicates that your hair follicle is not getting enough nutrients. Because it is not getting enough nutrients, this can cause the hair follicle to shrink over time which eventually leads to thinning hair or baldness. However, please bear in mind if you see any hairs on your scalp, no matter how sparse they may be, this indicates that your hair follicles are still alive. Along with producing hair strands, the hair follicle also retain stem cells. Now these stem cells reproduce to form keratinocytes which forms the hair strands and also melanocytes which produces the pigment which gives our hair its color. With that, it is imperative to maintain healthy functioning hair follicles in order for our hair to flourish. Ways in which you can encourage the development of healthy hair follicle would include avoiding tension, doing scalp massages, using natural oils such as avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, etc. and also incorporating natural remedies such as, you know, onion juice or even doing herbal hair masks, but most importantly, incorporating a plant-based diet which is packed with all your vitamins and minerals so that you can have your daily recommended intake of nutrients because as we know a deficiency in certain nutrients can lead to hair loss. Although all minerals and vitamins are very important for the development of healthy hair and hair follicles, some of the most important ones to include are vitamin A, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, also iron and zinc as well as proteins. To learn more about foods rich in these particular vitamins then please see the cards listed above here and also in the description bar below. Now if you experience any abnormalities of your hair's texture or growth then this indicates signs of local problems or systemic illness and it's best that you do seek medical advice from your doctor. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, we will be right back here with another video.